Greetings everyone and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. Finally, after 200 or so years, the missing link has been found. The missing link between monkeys and apes and humans. That is, if you believe the developments and the revelations which were recently brought to your attention in the Boulevard Press. But it's not that simple. I'm talking about EDA, I-D-A, EDA, a fossil discovery. And the Wall Street Journal wrote the following on May 15 about it, and at least they leave some rooms for doubt. They say, in what could prove to be a landmark discovery, a leading paleontologist said scientists have dug up the 47 million year old fossil of an ancient primate whose features suggest it could be the common ancestor of all later monkeys, apes, and humans. Anthropologists have long believed that humans evolved from ancient ape-like ancestors. So really, even they say it's not the missing link between humans and animals. It is perhaps a common ancestor from which all humans and apes and monkeys developed. The article goes on to say, the discovery has little bearing on a separate debate centering on the identity of a common ancestor of chimps and humans, which could have lived about six million years ago and still has not been found. That gap in the evolution story is referred to as the missing link controversy. In reality, though, all gaps in the fossil records are technically missing links until filled in. Then the article goes on to say that the latest fossil find is likely to ignite further the debate between evolutionists who draw conclusions based on a limited fossil record and creationists who don't believe that humans, monkeys, and apes evolved from a common ancestor. At least, as I said, this article gives some room for doubt. But if you look at some other articles in the Boulevard Press, you find statements which are unbelievable. Let me read to you from the Sky News Online, which wrote on May 19. Scientists have unveiled a 47 million year old fossilized skeleton of a monkey hailed as the missing link in human evolution. The search for a direct connection between humans and the rest of the animal kingdom has taken 200 years, but it was presented to the world today at a special news conference in New York. The discovery of the 95% complete monkey dubbed Ida is described by experts as the eighth wonder of the world. Researchers say proof of this transitional species finally confirms Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. It is unbelievable, because that's not even something those scientists which quote-unquote discovered this fossil are claiming. But there are problems with this whole development, and there are more scientists now who actually question the interpretation of that find. The German paper Stern Online quoted many of those scientists, and here let me also read to you an article from an article in Science Life, which pointed out the following on May 20. The public could be left with the impression that Ida is a rock-solid missing link in the human evolutionary chain. It's not a missing link. It's not even a terribly close relative to monkeys, apes, and humans, which is a point they're trying to make, said Chris Beard, a curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh. And then the article continued to say, Ida's unveiling was highly scripted. More important, it can now be said, the findings may well have been significantly, significantly overstated. If this event causes the public to distrust science and media, that distrust is well placed. And I would say amen to that. Because, my friends, the evolution theory is just that. It's a theory. There is no scientific proof whatsoever that man developed from monkeys, from apes, or that he developed at all through the evolutionary chain. A very respected scientist, the late Professor Illis, from the world-renowned Max Planck Institute in Germany, wrote this several years ago. No serious scientist dares to state today that we know anything certain about the evolution of man. 
Now, that's not what scientists will tell you. That's not what school books will tell you. That's not what the Boulevard Press and the mass media will tell you. They tell you you are ignorant if you don't believe in evolution. You are ignorant if you don't believe that man developed and evolved from animals. Professor Illis went on to say that man has a similar fate as the ape because he is a product of a material process without any purpose and design. That's according to the evolution theory. He is the highest coincidental or accidental assembly of energy and matter, a product of chance. But then he goes on to say fairly, even though he doesn't believe in the Bible and didn't, but he nevertheless is honest enough to point out, many biologists do not live comfortably anymore in the shaky building of Darwinism. That is so, as we have never found any big mutations. In other words, changes from one species to another species. And we have never found any fossils that could qualify as a link between the species. He says, Pitagantopos and Neanderthal man are upon closer examination, not apes at all, but real members of the species man. Now again, we have prepared a booklet entitled The Theory of Evolution, A Fairy Tale for Adults. And that's actually a term which was coined by a French biologist. And this booklet gives you many more quotes from scientists questioning the evolutionary concept, even though they don't believe in the Bible either. But what about you, my friend? Are you believing in God's words? If you do, there is no way that you can look at evolution and creation at the same time and say, oh, I believe in both. There is also no way that you can believe in the concept of a theistic evolution. In other words, evolution took place, but God directed it. That is totally in contradiction to what the Bible says. The Bible says that man was created ad hoc, for a purpose, for a plan, for a design, for a potential. Do you know what that plan, what that purpose, what that design is? Why did God create you? Why do you live here on this earth? God defying scientists who are either atheists or they are agnostics don't have any answers to these vital questions. They have come up with an evolutionary concept which is a belief system. It's a belief in a creation without a creator. If you want to believe in God, if you want to believe in the God of the Bible, if you want to accept his words, then you are different from those scientists who have been deceived by Satan, the devil, who is the god of this world, who is the one who deceives all mankind, as the book of Revelation tells you. He has received the world in believing in the evolution theory, which gives you no answers, which gives you no hope, which gives you no purpose for your life and for what is going to happen after you die. Why is it that so many have no clue as to what's going to happen when they die? Scientists who believe in evolution cannot give you an answer. They don't know what is going to happen. They don't seem to care either. You should care, and you can know. And so please read our free booklets. It's absolutely free for the asking. The Theory of Evolution, a fairy tale for adults. Or go to our website, and it's there posted online. So thanks very much for watching. Ida is not a missing link. Ida is a nice, innocent fossil, but the interpretations given to it is, if I would coin it that way, an ideological, demonic abomination. Thanks very much for watching. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program.